Okay, so for this one, um, we're doing a hypothesis test. A research center claims that 26% of adults in a certain country would travel into space on a commercial flight if they could afford it. I think I did something like this. Maybe it's just not on, I don't know if I saved it on YouTube or not. But it's a good question. Everybody's asking me about it. So maybe after um, this recording, I'll go ahead and just put this on YouTube so that if, you know, if anybody else asks about this, I can just share the link. Um, in a random sample of 700 adults in that country, 29% say that they would travel into space on a commercial flight if they could afford it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many people said, yes, I'm going to go to the space. So they said 700 was the total, but 29% of them. So 203 people out of 700 said they would travel into space if they could afford it. Uh, what we want to do is at alpha equals 0 0.01, is there evidence, uh, enough evidence to re reject um, the research center's claim? So what were they claiming? They were claiming that um, 26 percent of adults uh, would travel to um, space but um, 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 so okay okay so it's a proportion right why how do we know it's a proportion did they use the word proportion they really didn't but you see how they gave us 29 percent that is a proportion so what we're going to do is go to stat crunch and we will use a proportion stat stat proportion stat and we have one sample and it looks like they just gave us a summary they said out of 729 percent said they would go to the space so click on this um number of success how many people said they would go to space it was 203 and how did i get that number again i did 700 times 29 percent and 203 is the number of success whoopsies and the observation is 700 um, we're doing a hypothesis test, and what they were claiming is that the, the proportion is 26%, so I put 0.26 here, but the alternative will just simply be not equal to 0.26, so I did the whole test. Um, I'm going to have to reject the claim, uh, uh, fail to reject the claim, because um, the p-value came out a little too big than 1%, but let's go ahead and um, answer this multiple part question so what's it asking um identify the claim and say h naught and h a what they were saying is that 26 percent of adults in the country would travel into space if they could afford it that's what they were claiming so i'm going to say um the null hypothesis is 0.26 equal to 0.26 and i'll make the alternative to be not equal to 0.26 the critical, oh, I'm sorry, the standardized test statistic came out to be 1.81 rounded up. It's right here, T stat. And the p value came out to be 0 0.070. They said round three decimal places. Because the 7% is greater than 1%, I'm going to have to say I failed to reject the null hypothesis. There is not enough evidence to. Um, reject the research center's claim because their claim was the null hypothesis i don't have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis so that is how you can answer um, this space travel question